Here's your two minutes for today, two minute tidbit for today. This is from Whisper of the Heart, and it has to do with balance being BS, because frankly, this is the wrong time of year, and really, what time of year is balance possible? Balance is a state you reach internally more than externally. I often speak about people talking about balance as this time management system. And quite frankly, we're all pretty good time managers. And 2020 being the great interrupter and intervener and reconciler of where we need to spend our time has produced this wonderful opportunity to gain efficiencies and some semblance of self and family and relationship time taking priority over the busyness of life. So some of the gifts I've heard people repeatedly talk about this year for is that wedge it put into all the things we were doing. So here's seven rules from life of life from Whisper of the Heart. Number one, make peace with your past so it won't screw up your present. This is a time to reflect and be able to do that. I encourage you to do so, and we've got some tools to help you review and then preview so you can kick 2021 into the butt. What others think of you is none of your business. It's one that I've adopted. I've said this for years. I don't know if they are the originator of it, but I am telling you the reality of that and letting go of taking things personally, QTIP, Q-tip, quit taking it personally is a gift in and of itself. Number three, time heals almost everything. Give it time. Well, right now we've got a lot of things that have been disruptive. Give it time. It will settle down. We will get through this. It is going to happen. And quit trying to make it like any other time because it's not. It's a pandemic. Number four, don't compare your life to others and don't judge them. You have no idea what other people's journey is all about. Boy, if that isn't true. And when I catch myself, when I'm present enough, the question I ask myself is, hey, I wonder what that, that person must be going through to be acting like this. It intervenes in some critical judgment when it happens for me. Number five, stop thinking too much. It's all right to not know the answers. They'll come to you when you least expect it, especially when you don't know what the future holds. Number six, no one is in charge of your happiness except you. Stop waiting for things to change. Change you, change your experience. And last but not least, smile. You don't have to own all the problems of the world. I hope you find your meaning for alignment of what internally means so much to you to align with what externally you're doing. Because to me, those are the moments of balance we can seek, not the ones that the magazines project. Have a great week. Make it intentionally great.